Hello everyone, welcome back to Bistro Buzz TV. Tonight we are having barbecue salmon. It is so yummy. I don't know if any of you have ever had barbecue salmon or not. We had this at a restaurant one time. So now we're going to make barbecue salmon and we'll show you how. So let's get started. This is a very simple recipe. I purchased two of the large pieces of salmon and I placed them into this pan here on the tin foil. Underneath the, the salmon, I've got two little places where I've got butter. And then on top of the salmon here, you can see that I've added the peppercorn, just a little bit, not very much. And then a little bit of butter on top of each of these. What I'm gonna do is place these into the oven on 350 for about 15 minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is add barbecue sauce. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using the Oven 360 for these. It's the Power Air Fryer Oven 360. I love this little oven. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place it on bake. 350. And for 15 minutes. Okay, 350, 15 minutes. We will be right back. The salmon is cooking. I wanted to show you real quickly what we're having with the salmon. We're gonna be having the bird's eye long grain white rice. This is very, very simple. It's in your frozen food at your grocery stores. I purchased this at Harris Teeter. I place this into the microwave for two minutes. I take the bag out, shake it up really, really well, place it back into the microwave for another two minutes, and then I place the rice into a dish with some butter, and it's ready. Very, very simple. We're also having with this the green beans. These are, these are the pick sweet steamables. I place the bag into the microwave for three minutes. I take the bag out, shake the beans up, place it back into the microwave for three additional minutes. And there you've got your rice and you've also got your green beans. Very, very simple. We're having both of these with the salmon. The salmon is still cooking, so we will be back. The salmon has been cooking for 15 minutes. You can see here it is pretty much done, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place barbecue sauce on top of the salmon, and then we're gonna place it back into the oven for about five to 10 minutes, and the salmon will be ready. This is very, very simple as you can see, and then I've already shown you that we're gonna have the white rice and the green beans with it. So we'll go ahead and place the barbecue sauce on top of the salmon and we'll place it back into the oven. I'm using the Sweet Baby Ray's, the honey barbecue sauce. You can use any barbecue sauce that you wish, but we really like the Sweet Baby Ray's, the honey barbecue sauce. It makes it taste so yummy. So we're gonna go ahead and place this on top of the salmon. This is how I place the barbecue sauce on top of the salmon. It is so yummy. I know that barbecue sauce probably sounds kind of strange to place on salmon, and we did too until we tried it at a restaurant, and it was so good. So please try this recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and place this into the oven for about five to 10 more minutes, and we will be back. The rice has been cooking for a total of four minutes. And you can see here, I've got just a small little dish. What I'm gonna do is place some butter into it, and then I'm gonna place the rice in it, mix it up, and the rice will be the rice ready. Rice is ready. See how simple this is? Just place the bag of rice into the microwave for two minutes. Once the two minutes is over, shake it up a little bit, place it into the microwave, additional two minutes, place it into a dish, and it is ready. So let's go ahead and get the green beans ready. With our dinner also, I did purchased this Fisherman's Market Lemon Dill Tartar Sauce from Harris Teeter. This is very, very good with your salmon. Now we did add the barbecue sauce on the salmon, but there is some of the salmon that's not gonna have the barbecue sauce on it. So this is very, very good. And actually, this is really, really good to mix with rice. If you've ever tried that, it's so yummy. I just wanted to show you really quick the tartar sauce that we're going to be using. It's the lemon dill tartar sauce, Fisherman's Market, and we purchased this from Harris Teeter. I've cooked the green beans in the microwave for three minutes, took them out of the microwave and shook the bag really, really good, and then I placed the bag back into the microwave for an additional one minute, and the bag suggests cooking the green beans from four and a half minutes to six minutes, but what I like to do is 
I take the bag after they've been cooking for four minutes in the microwave, place the green beans into the dish, and then I'll place it back into the microwave for two additional minutes, and it will be a total of six minutes. Now, if you don't wanna cook your green beans for that long, you can cook them for four to six minutes, and you can just see if they're well done enough to your liking, and if not, once you place them into the dish like this, you can definitely put them back into the microwave for a few more moments. So then what I'm gonna do is place the green beans back into the microwave for additional two minutes, and the green beans will be completely cooked. The salmon was in the oven for additional 10 minutes. You can see here where the barbecue sauce has somewhat caramelized a little bit, which makes it even more yummy. Very, very good. So it began with 15 minutes, and then I took it out of the oven, placed the barbecue sauce on it, placed it back into the oven for 10 additional minutes, and you can see here where the barbecue sauce caramelized a little bit. If you want to cook your salmon less time than that, that's perfectly fine. But however way you want to cook it and place the barbecue sauce on it, it will still be very, very good. Dinner is served. We have the salmon with the barbecue sauce. We have the green beans and we have rice. And we're going to add our Fisherman's Market lemon dill tartar sauce. And if you want additional Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce, we have that also. This is our dinner for this evening. Everyone, if you try this recipe, please let us know how your salmon turns out. We will have another salmon recipe on the channel very, very soon, and we will share that with you. Please like and subscribe, and come back to visit us again soon. Thank you.